After being provisionally suspended for almost a full year, Simona Halep's doping case has come to some sort of conclusion with her getting banned for four years from the tour. Let's go have a look at what the ITIA had to say in their statement. So this is what the ITIA had to say. On the 11th of September, 2023, the tribunal confirmed that it had found the, the player had committed intentional anti-doping rule violations under Article 2 of the TADP. The presence and use of rocks to dust it, as evidenced in Halep's urine sample collection on 29 August, 2022 at the US Open. Use of a prohibited substance or method during 2022 based on collection and analysis of 51 blood samples provided by the player as part of the ABP program. Tribunal accepted Halep's arguments that they had taken a contaminated supplement, but determined the volume the player ingested could not have resulted in the concentration of roxodastat found in the positive sample. The ABP charge was also upheld, with the tribunal stating that they had no reason to doubt the unanimous strong opinion reached by each of the three independent athlete passport management unit experts that likely doping was the explanation for the irregularity in Halep's passport. Halep has been provisionally suspended since October 2022, which the tribunal accredited against the period of ineligibility. As such, the former world number one suspension will run from the 7th of October 2022 until the 6th of October 2026. The case remains subject to appeal. So there you have it. Massive news coming out of the Simona Halep doping scandal, I guess you could call it now. Uh, four years, including the provisional suspension of the last year. So three years till now, so 2026. And remember, Halep is not, you know, mid-20s where she can come back, you know, at 28 or come back and play. She's 31. So it means she can come back and play at 34. Now, there are players playing at 34. There's a lot of players playing. You know, you've got players like Azarenka and stuff, so she can't come back. But it's a long time to be away from the game. Four years, especially at this part of her career. Uh, she can appeal, as they said there, subject to appeal. Uh, we will talk about her response as well and also her coaches and everything uh, coming up in the next couple of hours. But, man, massive story. After a year of being provisionally suspended, now she has found that suspension will be upheld for another three years. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this? There are calls also for her being stripped of her titles from Wimbledon and other tournaments that she's won over the time now. I don't know if that's fair because, of course, it only goes back to October of last year and she, of course, won Wimbledon three years before. So that's a little bit harsh if it wasn't, you know, found five years ago or six years ago. I feel like stripping titles from a, you know, you know pre this situation would be a little harsh, but let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this? And will Simona Halep actually come back in three years' time?